we are here once again and full screen. I uh, hope the game didn't crash. And so yeah, Kerbals, uh, you will actually get really rich right now. Actually, no, you're not going to get rich, but Kerbals, yeah, or we're already going at 40, 60, 70 degrees. Okay, let's just go. So we are going very, very, very fast in this aircraft because look at it. We're going like 200 miles an hour, just like from going to run away. It's really fast. Um, and when you come off the runway, now we can take off. So this is uh, what am I supposed to do on this? We're going to turn on the thermometer or the antenna. Not the antenna yet. We will not, we don't, we're not traveling. So the idea is we are here and these kerbals are kind of seen that Sydney has said one day. Hey, we never actually put a factory in this planet, but we refine fuel. Let's see how the global warming is doing. Because they're kind of worried about that. So then they've kind of like made a, f like a flyby, but this is not going to be like a 20 episode series of me flying around Turban and doing an entire round around Turban. Of course, it will not do that. This episode will be a 50 minute episode because my recorder is a little bit broken and I really can't record videos more than 15 minutes or then it won't up it won't even upload to YouTube. It's just weird. Like the bigger than that, like the, the actual program can't like put it in YouTube. It's just weird. So I can't record videos higher than 15 minutes. It's just stupid. I need to get a new recorder. You know, I really need to. Even if it costs like 60, I really need to. I don't really, and I need to get a, uh, first of all, I think it'll be a new recorder. The recorder like, records kind of fine for this channel, but it, it's like, it's, you know, I can't record videos higher than 40 minutes. It's just crap. Anyway, yeah, so we're going up and we're losing altitude from pointing our beak up, apparently. Well, I guess it makes sense. So yeah, we can see this aircraft is a pretty basic aircraft. It has up of 20 parts. It has a cargo bay in the middle because we need a cargo bay for some of that. So actually, uh, this will produce drag, of course. If I had been on airspace, this would produce... Like, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I, would, um, I, don't, I, I think I know that being on airspace actually produces... And apparently, we already... We're on minus 10. Minus 10 degrees. About 4,500 meters from this guy. And we will actually come and they will say, let's transmit to Kerbal TV right now. And don't say that Kerbal TV uh, was that, that thought, that sentence was stolen by Scott Manley. It wasn't, because whatever, Kerbal TV. There's Kerbal TV in all Kerbal games. You know, there's just only one Kerbal game, but I want to admit that it is actually in all the Kerbal games. I should really like deactivate these like to, to kind of roll I guess that's really how you do it. So apparently, oh look, the moon. We're gonna point directly to the moon. So apparently, okay. Apparently we are going at hypersonic speeds of 700 miles an hour and only at 400 miles an hour is about, you know, for curve and atmosphere, that's about hypersonic. So apparently minus 50 degrees at about 11,000 meters high. Knowing that since I have so many air intakes in this aircraft, I could go actually. It's something kind of weird is there's a, the atmosphere is just burning the aircraft right now. And it's like, okay, I'm still really, it, and it, the temperature is getting higher. You can see that clearly the temperature is getting higher, so it makes sense. But and there's fire around a thermometer, and it slowly, slowly gets a little bit hotter. That doesn't really make sense. But at least there's kind of something. Okay, now... Now apparently it's in, now it's hot. Now the they just I wonder what this happens. Like if I move the antenna, I wonder if that helps. Oh, now it's getting hotter. And since I, I, uh, this aircraft is really 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 good, I could go at twenty thousand meters altitude before running out of air, and that is really nice because I so I have so many air intakes on this. You can see that I only I'm only grabbing zero point two air, and I could probably get to twenty thousand meters before running out of air. So apparently air, uh, apparently air speed is going down. Oh yeah, okay. I was gonna say air speed is broken, but it isn't because we're going slower. So apparently we are in 1,000 miles an hour. We are pretty, really, really high into the atmosphere. We are actually, yes, we actually do a very long uh, maneuver mode. So, so yeah, this is Kerbal TV, and let's just open the antenna and now so everything is stable. So we are 20, and now that we are. The engines are off, it's not producing heat. We are 21 meters high, and it's about minus 34 degrees. 
Apparently, carbon it doesn't have any global warming, knowing the refined fuel because this is liquid fuel. Apparently, global warming on carbon is terribly low because there's only two buildings in this entire planet, like the airport, this little small damaged airport, the other old uh, space center just somewhere in Carbon. I don't really don't know where it is, and stuff like that. And also, there's the original Orbis Center. And apparently, they refined fuel underground because I don't see that building. <laughs> so, anyway, um, that's all we hear. And, oh, well, yeah, so perfect. Mm, we're getting some maneuver notes here. Not maneuver notes. They're, uh, oh, apparently, let's not fight against it. Just whatever. Let's just see what happens. If we turn off SAS and RCS, just see what the plane does. It just points its beak down and says, okay, I'm gonna die now. Okay, you can die. Okay, just kidding. So, yeah, we are showing, going pretty fast. We were apparently. Fif mine is 52 degrees at 10,000 meters high. That is really cold. That means that this planet does basically is untouched by global warming. That means the planet's atmosphere is about 1% uh, carbonic gas was released, according to what how cold this atmosphere is. One of the Kerbals have, must have a blood, um, blood, you know, they must have like blood uh, heat about 20 degrees because pretty much even at water level, the temperature is about, I don't know, 10, 20 degrees or something. So I guess the Kerbals have like, I guess, 25 degrees uh, on the on their blood heat because really the stack of here is very cold compared to the Earth. So in our the blood in, in our blood, uh, I keep I keep wanting to say pressure, but it's not pressure. It's, it's heat. It, it's about 37 degrees. So since the pleurables live in the yes, stack of here, that is really really cold. I guess their blood their blood uh, heat must be very very low compared to ours. Since we live in Earth, and we have to do this, and let's already, let's already start turning on the engines, not to commit suicide directly into the water. Um, I don't like the thing is just no, there's no timer. I really don't know. Uh, what if I don't like? Okay, I, don't, I really don't know. Like because I like I said, I can't record in more than fifteen. I can record more for like forty minutes or something, but if I record, I, I, it doesn't let me because the powerful the program's not powerful enough to like send it in. It's a program to like admit it to YouTube. Why is this thing popping up? I can't even close it. It's not closed button. I glitched it. So yeah guys, this is our first episode of Kerbal's program and I hope you enjoyed and yeah let's just let's just let's not be boring like oh bye we're gonna be cool. Let's commit suicide. It's like then there wasn't a crazy 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 amounts of aerodynamic stress and the crazy crazy. So and E Kerberos, oh no, and their engines burned, and they ran out of fuel, and there was no air intakes anymore. They ran out of air intakes, there was no, no, nothing, okay, what the heck? All the intakes are off, but, what the heck? This is off, this is off, this is off, and this is off, and the engines are run. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say it's a bug because like these things are kind of like permanently See the these things are kind of, you know, these things are kind of like glitched permanently with me So I guess kind of it is a bug or something, but yeah, so oh no They're going out of control. Oh no, Jebediah Kerbin. You could survive Jebediah Kerbin No You drowned apparently Literally, you could probably fall from like 250 meters and not die if you dive the proper way. You're gonna get hurt, but you're probably not gonna die. Some people might die, uh, but you could literally fall from 250 meters and into the water of the sea, of course, because it's really deep and you cannot die or probably not even get hurt or something, but I'm probably gonna get hurt. So, yeah, what? No, there's like, the vessel was this short, okay, I know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and bye.